what I've done there is come up with the single worst piece of craft ever created in humanity. Welcome to Project Hujo episode two. Now, as you can see, I brought the 404 wagon into our professional grade welding shop. No, it's, it's a shed. Now, a lot has gone on since the last episode. Primarily, Blaze has made his way up here to the ranch. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how I spent $1,300 on a car worth practically nothing. Now it is winter in Colorado, and of course, the shop doesn't have a heater, so I went out and bought this thing. And that is doing exactly what you think it would, which is practically nothing. Now first up, the angle grinder, and you're probably wondering, why did I go for the Ryobi four and a half inch barrel grip angle grinder? Well, I did a lot of research. I bought this one because it was cheap. It was like 45 bucks. Next to that, I've got these, which hopefully are the right things that I need. And I also got these guys. Check this out. Oh yeah, my first impact. I think that's a cool piece of kit. And once again, I bought those ones because it matched this one. The big kahuna. This is what I spent most of my money on. Turns out you can't just buy the welder. You have to buy all this other crap that goes along with it. Actually, it's not crap, it's safety gear. And I bought a magnet because I was watching Wheeler Dealers and Ed China likes doing these. Dora the Explorer's first welding kit. And next to that are my old tools. I decided it was time to upgrade the Harbor Freight to something a little bit nicer. And I don't know once again if this was a good tool kit, but it was quite expensive. Now we've got one drained fuel tank. I think that's finally done doing its eternal drain. What do you think, Lazy? Could have got you a lot of dog food for the price of all that crap. So now that it's out of gas, in my mind, perfectly safe to weld on. Probably not, but safer than it was, I guess. If I start a fire, it's only gonna be a little fire, not a big fire. One of the things about the welding shed, which is really kind of a faff, but unfortunately, is that the car is the exact length of the welding shed, so I can't, I can't walk around it. It's not a graceful procedure here. I think this will be a good spot to start on. See this nasty, nasty hole? Just go cut there, cut there. And you're probably thinking, well, how are you going to replicate that ribbing? And the answer is I'm not. <laughs> well, I cut away the first layer of rust only to find a lot more rust. <laughs> I look like Jimmy Neutron in those glasses. So I cut away and most of it turned into a pile on the floor. All right, well, it's the next day. So I've spent another 200 bucks at Harbor Freight for these um, triangle things, saw horses, that's what they're called. And check this out, I've used this white marker to mark out my new panel. I think that'll look quite nice. Maybe. Well, I've had a little bit of a revelation here with my grinding. Um, so it turns out, <laughs> it only took me an hour to figure out. Um, when you go to undo the discs, there's a little button on the back and then they, they spin off. Uh, it's like a little catch. I thought that was pretty cool. Whoever came up with that, smart cookie. And that's gonna fit in there. About right about there, right? Yeah. Now, of course, I did cut it a full two inches too short. No, I hope I don't scratch the upholstery. Oh, Jesus heck. Here goes my very first weld. Actually, that's not true. I did watch a YouTube video and I thought it was pretty cool, so I took a two hour welding course, which I was crap at. What I've done there is come up with the single worst piece of craft ever created in humanity. I had the welder all the way at the slowest setting and all the way at the lowest temperature. There's like one little bead right, right there. That is the only acceptable piece of weld, but the rest of it, Horrible, horrible, horrible. Oh, look at that hole. I have turned a rusty panel and have made it worse looking than it was before. But hey, it's a learning experience. 